Good evening, everybody. It is Steve Luckner with Right Side Broadcasting. There is a terror attack ongoing, uh, an especially bad one, a tragic one, where uh, apparently terrorists in Afghanistan in Jalalabad are attacking the Save the Children office. Yes, the Save the Children office. Been seeing a number of reports about this, and it is supposedly ongoing, and we are uh, going to update you on this. So, let me just show you what we know here. Uh, I've been seeing a bunch of different reports about this just coming out in the last uh, few minutes. So um, let me just show you some of the uh, reporting I've seen on it real quick. So AFP reporting an explosion rocks the Save the Children office in eastern Afghanistan's city of Jalalabad. Uh, we've been hearing about an explosion there and also gunmen attacking. Um, Tolo News tweeted out about 50 minutes ago, gunmen have attacked the Save the Children office in PD3 of Jalalabad city of Nangarar province. Clashes ongoing, a spokesman for provincial governor Atula Kogyani confirmed. Here is uh, some footage from Tolo News. Uh, a car burns outside the Save the Children organization in Jalalabad city after gunmen gunmen stormed the compound stormed the compound of the Save the Children organization. Let me make sure you can hear me here. Tula Kogyani confirmed. Sounds like you can hear me. Good. Okay. Let me keep going and bringing you uh, the news on this that I'm seeing out there. Um, according to Tolo News, they are in uh, Afghanistan, I believe. Tolo News is in Afghanistan. 24-hour news channel. They are reporting uh, 11 people were wounded in a suicide bombing outside Save the Children organization in Jalalabad in, Afghan in Afghanistan. So there was an explosion outside apparently. We hear gunmen are inside. Here are some, uh, this is posted by uh, Aditya Raj Kal, who works at Republic. He says, Terror attack ongoing in Jalalabad city of Afghanistan. Uh, multiple, multiple explosions heard in the area. Some vehicles of Save the Children uh, NGO have caught fire. Gunfire after explosions. Forces have rushed to the location. 11 injured as per initial inputs. I'm going to follow this person taking these photos so I can get some more. So there is a car bomb, a car on fire. I don't know if that's a car bomb, but that's a car on fire outside of the Save the Children office in Jalalabad. And then there's a shot, uh, which you've seen over my shoulder, of children running and adults taking children away. See what else I can find you. This is just tweeted out about 10 minutes ago by Tolo News. Um, Tolo News journalist Zayar Yad reports from the scene of the ongoing attack, says sporadic gunfire can be heard as insurgents clash with security forces. So he says the, uh, the, the attackers are clashing with security forces. Yad reports insurgents first detonated a car bomb before storming the Save the Children compound. So according to this report from an Afghanistan journalist, um, terrorist detonated a car bomb outside the compound, and then stormed the Save the Children compound. Now, I don't know if there are many children inside that compound, if it's more people who work at the organization or both, so don't know right now. Let's just try to get you more information on what's going on there. Uh, here's a video posted by BNO News. Uh, and it says, gunfire continues at Save the Children compound in Jalalabad. At least 11 people taken to hospital so far. So let's watch this video here. So that is gunfire, supposedly from the compound area. Let's watch that one more time. <laughs> B 
BNO News also reporting that an attack is underway against an office of Save the Children in the Afghan city of Jalalabad, explosion and gunfire heard. Uh, if you're hearing anything more about this, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Uh, another post from Tolo News from Afghanistan. They say, just a minute ago, Tolo News reporter live from the scene of ongoing attack on Save the Children compound in Jalalabad says relatives of employees have arrived at the scene as they anxiously await news of family members trapped inside the building. So, you know, what I was wondering before is what I, I don't know is, you know, this organization works for to help children out. I don't know if children were in this compound or if it was just a compound full of the employees of the organization, the adult employees. Either way, it's terrible, of course, uh, but don't really have a good picture as to who would be inside that compound right now. Going to try to find you some more updates here. And I wonder, we saw this picture before. Uh, this person posted this one, but other people have been posting this picture. This person is Koshal Taib. But I don't know if that, we heard supposedly there was a suicide bombing outside of the... Um, uh, outside or some sort of explosion outside of the compound and then gunmen went into the compound. I don't know if that's the bombing that happened before they went into the compound. Here's another picture of school f children fleeing the area, supposedly. This was posted by Rao Hamza Salim, and it says school children leave fleeing the area after suicide attack in Save Children Organization Office, Jalalabad City. Just trying to get you some more updates here. Uh, again, if you hear anything new, feel free to give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. You are watching Right Side Broadcasting's live coverage of this ongoing terror attack in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, where gunmen have apparently attacked a Save the Children office in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Thank you, JC, for being up and moderating the chat. I very much appreciate it. Isaac Barry writes, and has anyone been killed there? All we have heard from officials in that area are that 11 people were injured, but that was an early, that announcement happened a little while back. So sadly, I'm guessing uh, if that was accurate, there will be more injuries, hopefully not many more. I have not heard of any deaths yet, but you know, it, it, sound, it seems like this, this is ongoing and we're hearing reports. I, I just... I just showed you, oh, special forces have just arrived. This is just in from Tolo News. Uh, special forces have arrived at the scene of the ongoing attack. So this is still going on. Uh, since special forces have just arrived, I would assume the gunmen are still in the compound. And um, so it sounds like the authorities have not gotten in the compound or at least cleared the compound yet. It sounds like there's ongoing uh, back and forth between the terrorists and the security forces there. See what else I can find for you here. Let's watch this video one more time. This was posted by BNO News, uh, originally posted by Tolo News. It says, um, Gunfire continues and saved the children in, Afghan, at the, in the Afghan city of Jalalabad. At least 11 people taken to the hospital so far. Actually, let me go back and do this. Okay. 
Okay, just uh, searching around, trying to find more information on this attack, which is ongoing. And this is, you know, this is an attack right now. We don't know how bad this is. All we've heard is that 11 people have been taken to the hospital. But that, I, I, I think if I'm recalling right, I thought the 11 people were hurt maybe in the initial explosion outside of the office. Uh, so that doesn't even count. Um, that doesn't even count. Yeah, yeah. So here, look, look what Tolo News had reported half an hour ago that officials confirmed 11 people were wounded in the suicide bombing outside the organization. So we're not even, that 11 people doesn't include anyone hurt inside the office. And we've had reports that gunmen stormed the office. So this could be a very, very bad, it's already incredibly bad, but it could be much, much worse than, than we're hearing right now because we just don't know what's going on in that office right now. And I've also heard reports of plural explosions. Okay, if you have any updates, uh, feel free to give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner on Twitter, so I can share them with our viewers. In the meantime, I am searching for some things. I was wondering if Save the Children had a post about this on their Twitter feed. Yeah, there's nothing on the Save the Children Twitter feed yet about this. Last post was 10 hours ago. Just looking for some different sources. The Guardian is now reporting on this. The UK uh, paper, The Guardian, they're saying car bomb explodes outside Save the Children office in Jalalabad. Uh, attackers entered the aid agency, as we've already reported. So let's look at this. It says, attackers have entered the Save the Children office in Jalalabad after a car bomb exploded outside. Uh, the blast targeted the aid agency and 11 people had been injured, according to a government spokesman. At around 9.10 a.m., a suicide attacker detonated a car bomb at the entrance of Save the Children compound. That's really bad. So, so it's what the government is saying, uh, the local government is saying, is that a suicide bomber detonated a car bomb. So apparently drove up a car, blew up the car and himself. I presume it's a him, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then gunmen rushed into the compound. It says a group of armed men then entered the compound. Clashes were ongoing at the scene. And if you, uh, here's a little helpful map of where Jalalabad is. Jalalabad is on the eastern part of the country. You can see not, it's about, I mean, as I eyeball it, maybe, uh, you know, seven, 50, 75 miles from Kabul, around that amount, if you look at the scale at the bottom. Um, let's see here. We already saw that video of the gunshots before. Oh, we have a quote here. Mohammed Amin, who was inside the compound when the attackers stormed inside, told AFP from his hospital bed that he heard a big blast. We ran for cover and I saw a gunman hitting the main gate with an RPG, rocket-propelled grenade, to enter the compound. I jumped out of the window, Amin said. So this witness said that they entered the compound by shooting an RPG at the main gate. The attack comes days after Taliban gunmen raided a luxury hotel in Kabul, killing at least 22 people, mostly foreigners. That just happened a few days ago, that attack on a hotel uh, in, I, th it was a, it was an, uh, I think it's, was it the International Hotel or something? But it was a hotel I know frequented by government, uh, by foreigners, by guests of the government. And uh, th that, there was an attack at that hotel and at least 22 people died um, a few days ago. But uh, the Taliban, so I, I wonder if the same people will claim this attack. Um, I thought the Taliban, I'd read stories to the Taliban claim the attack on the hotel. I don't know if that claim was verified, however. So, but that's, you know, two big attacks in Afghanistan in the last few days. Assuming this is a big attack, it looks pretty bad. Well, already 11 people are hurt just in the bombing outside. Okay, let's see if we can find you anything new here, any more updates. So that was from, um, ooh, here's some more pictures. What is this? This is from 
Afghanistan Station 1 TV News AF. They say more pictures following the Jalalabad attack. Let's see what the pictures they posted are. Looks like a police car there and people with children. I see in the distance down the street some, uh, there are some, looks like army vehicles of some sort and a guy holding a gun on the left. What is this trying to get? Um, is this another report here? This is from uh, News One in Afghanistan. It's an Afghanistan channel. Uh, explosion near Save the Children office in Afghanistan. An explosion happened. Blah, 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 blah. We heard that already. We heard that already. This is not any new news here. Okay, that's nothing new. We had heard all that. Associated Press is now reporting the story. This is from AP. Uh, anything new here? It was against the Save the Children's Provincial Office. We know that. At least 11 wounded. We know that. The attack started when a suicide bomber, we heard earlier, who was in a car, set off a car bomb, was, it was followed by gunfire. Um, it says Taliban insurgents, as well as the Islamic State fighters, are active in eastern Nangarar province where this is taking place. So you're watching our live coverage of this terror attack apparently going on at the Save the Children office in uh, BBC Breaking News. Everybody's starting to report it now. BBC Breaking News. Uh, so this is our live coverage of this uh, terror attack on a Save the Children office in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. And the 11 injured store, the 11 injured um, number we're seeing is just reportedly people who were injured in the initial suicide bombing outside of the outside of the office before gunmen stormed into the office. Uh, this BBC article, very short, nothing new yet. We'll see if they update it in a little bit. Uh, thanks again to JC for moderating the chat. And uh, if Common Sense and Glenno, I think, might be moderating on the website. Thank you. Oh, and thank you to... Um, B.D. Wilkie uh, made a contribution to the network. We appreciate it. Um, you know, in a broadcast like this, we don't ask for donations, but just know that uh, when you that your donations like that help us stay on the air. We're viewer supported, so thank you for the support, B.D. Wilkie. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so let's see if I can find you any more updates here that are new. Write to me if you have them. Write to me at, at Lookner on Twitter. So this is ongoing. Uh, to repeat this update I saw before, uh, special forces have arrived at the scene of the ongoing attack. Uh, maybe somebody will tweet out some new video or photos soon from the scene. There are some news organizations in Afghanistan covering it. I'm seeing a lot of people posting the same things about this. I'm trying to get you something new about it. Uh, Mikey Humbert in the chat room wanted me to show the website of Save the Children. So the worldwide website, I think, is, well, there's the USA. Save the Children International, I assume, is the one I want. Uh, they're not saying anything about this on their website. There's the website. I don't believe they're saying anything about it on Twitter either. So I'll go to their Twitter. Mm, that's one of them. That has nothing new on it. The other one we checked before and didn't have anything new on it either, so...
Thank you, Alice uh, Searcy, for uh, supporting rights. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, Alice. I'm just searching some different things to try to get you more updates here. The New York Times is now reporting on this. They have an article up. Everybody has a very short article up, though. They're just saying it's similar to what we heard before. All we really know now is that there was a suicide bombing around 9 a.m. Uh, outside the office. We also heard it was a suicide car bombing. 11 people were hurt outside of the Save the Children office uh, in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Then a witness said that uh, one of the gunmen shot an RPG at the gate of the office, and that allowed gunmen to enter the office. Uh, and now gunmen are inside the office. We've seen some video of gunshots. We've seen that the, we've heard that special forces have shown up, but the gunmen are supposedly exchanging fire with security forces, and we don't really know what's going on at this point. Donna Maria, could you clarify what you just wrote me? You said, look at who the trustees are at Save the Children. You can, you can tell me who they are if you see that, if you'd like. I'm not sure where, where we saw that before, so feel free to write back. Uh, eight minutes ago, One TV News said there's a battle at the Save the Children office in Jalalabad ongoing. Battle ongoing. A reporter at One TV News said that. They haven't tweeted anything out after that, though, so we'll see if we hear more from them. Oh, I got a new, I got some new, I got an unnew photo, one new photo. This is from One TV, One News in Afghanistan. Uh, and it says, here's a photo right here we haven't seen. It says, smoke following the explosion in Jalalabad City, right there. That's from One News in Afghanistan. We saw photos of children running before. Oh, there's a photo of ambulances arriving, but it's not, you just see two ambulances at the bottom there, so it's not really anything, anything that visual. This is a new photo. I have not seen this photo. I've seen a photo with a smaller fire here. So this person is Renwanula Spoon. Reswanula Spoon. But that photo, it's similar to a photo we saw before of a fire outside the office. But that's, that looks like multiple cars on fire. That looks like cars on fire. Now, we heard there was a car bombing outside of the office. I wonder if that car bombing caught multiple cars on fire, because that looks like multiple cars on fire. So we're just trying to get more information on this ongoing attack. Uh, there are security forces there. We don't really know what's going on at this moment. I assume we'll hear some more soon, but I'm just checking different sources here. Now, another thing I just thought of is that might, you know, so the attack a few days ago on a hotel, the hotel in Kabul is a hotel where foreigners frequently say, stay at. A number of foreigners were killed in that attack. I wonder if um, 
Save the Children office, part of the reason it was targeted is that I could see that being an office where a lot of foreigners work, a lot of foreign aid workers work. I don't know that for sure, but I'm wondering if part of the reason that was attacked is because it's another target where foreigners are. Maybe Westerners. Okay, so just trying to get more news here. We know this is going on. We know it's ongoing. Uh, I haven't found any new news yet. I'm sure there'll be some soon, so I'll keep looking here. Um... This was just sent to me by VJ Cyber Triangle, one of our viewers. And it says, uh, I don't know who this person is, but it's supposedly somebody from Afghanistan. Uh, this person has 82,000 followers, so uh, maybe, maybe they're legit. Uh, and they posted... Bilal Sarway, it says it's from Afghanistan, says we are, says AFG, we are fighting two or three attackers who are inside. Our forces are dealing with a complex situation, a senior officer with Ningarar police tells me. Okay, and he also posted this person. Bilal Sarar, Sarwari, it said Afghanistan attackers tossing hand grenades towards security forces. A police officer outside of the same Save the Children office tells me. So I don't know if this is authentic, but uh, it says this is coming, the, the Twitter says this is coming from Afghanistan. Uh, this person, Bilal Sarway, also said, uh, Save the Children International, specializing in working with children office in Jalalabad, which is only 200 meters from police station three in Jalalabad targeted. Intel and security failures continue. All right, well, thank you to our viewer, VJ Cyber Triangle, who alerted me to that uh, account. If you hear anything new out there, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Uh, one of our viewers wanted me to show you um, uh, Donna Maria and Mikey wanted me to show you Save the Children in America. Uh, I don't know if it's America or international, but some of their trustees you might be familiar with. Jill Biden, the wife of Joe Biden, is on the board of trustees. And um, let's see, there was one more I want to find here. Is it down here? Let's see. I was told, yeah, Cokie Roberts media figure is on there so just so you're aware you can if you want to see the full list of trustees you can go to save the children.org and there's a, a trustees link there all right let's see if we have any updates on this story uh, a new uh, this photo we already showed you one news one tv news af in afghanistan just posted this as I said before, it looks like this is where the suicide explosion happened outside the Save the Children office uh, before the gunmen went into the office. And 11 people were reportedly injured in that explosion. Before, that's before the gunmen went into the office. 11 people were taken to hospital. So we don't know what's going on inside, inside that office. We've heard reports that gunmen are throwing grenades at security forces. We've heard, seen a video of some gunshots. So... Uh, let's hope the people in that office are okay, but that's, it's a scary situation there. 
And it was, you know, it wasn't at night. It was 9 a.m., around 9 a.m. So I assume a lot of employees were there for to work at Save the Children, unfortunately. Uh, one TV news AF in Afghanistan just reported five minutes ago, gunshots are still being heard. Gunshots are still being heard amid the attack on Save the Children office. So there's still gunshots going on there. Thanks, by the way, to Linda for supporting Right Side. Linda wrote in, thank you, Steve, for giving us news any time of the day. Thank you, RSBN, and to all the mods. Yeah, thank you uh, to our moderators. JC is moderating right now. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, let me check some more news here. Try to get you updates on this. I'm seeing a bunch of things, uh, seeing a bunch of things that are similar to what we've seen already. So trying to get you some new news. This happened about 9, 10 a.m. in the morning there when this started. And what is the time there now? Let's see. The time there now is 1041. So this is attack has been ongoing for about an hour and a half now, an hour and a half. There are gunshots still going on. Thank you, Reagan, better for sending that video. And we already saw that one. We might look at it again in a little bit. I'll show it again. Why not? Uh, this was from this was posted a, a while ago by uh, BNO News and Tolo News, and it says gunfire continues at the Save the Children in Jalalabad. Show it again for people who haven't seen it yet. By the way, as you can see from this video, we do come on at all hours covering live breaking news. So if you want to uh, know, get notified when we're coming on the air, subscribe to us on YouTube. Click the notifications bell so you get a notification. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Right Side Broadcasting. Hello to everybody watching us on Facebook. On Twitter, we are at, at RSB Network, at RSB Network. And um, you can uh, message me during the broadcast if you have new news updates about this. Uh, at Lookner on Twitter. I am at, at Lookner on Twitter. So we are following this ongoing attack at the Save the Children office in Jalalabad. Jalalabad, I'm sorry. Um, we saw this photo before. They posted it again. One news in Afghanistan, children running. That was a while back. So not a lot of, I mean, so the attack has been going on for an hour and a half now. And a lot of the photos we've seen were around an hour ago. So we really don't have a lot of reporting at all about what's going on there at the moment. We know there are gunshots. We've heard there may be grenades being thrown by attackers. Uh, but we're just waiting to hear more right now. Okay, this is new. This was just posted by Tolo News in Afghanistan. Uh, journalist Zayer Ziad, reporting from the scene, says sporadic gunfire ongoing. Ambulances are waiting close to the scene already. 11 people taken to the hospital. So that was just posted by Tolo News in Afghanistan. Um, uh, gunfire, sporadic gunfire still ongoing. Ambulances are waiting close to the scene. Uh, I assume they're waiting for once, if they, once they clear that office of the gunmen, uh, then there very well might be victims there. So we'll have to see. I think this might be a picture here that Ariana News posted, but it looks like it was posted by a different channel. I don't know. Uh, but that might be a picture of outside the office there with the cars on fire. We've seen pictures of, of cars on fire, but from a lower angle, that might be a higher angle of the same place.
Let me check a couple other things here. Yeah, just looking right now, just seeing a bunch of similar information to what we've seen so far. Is there anything yet on the Save the Children Twitter account? Let's see. Uh, no, they have not posted anything. Their last post was 10 hours ago. So nothing yet there. Just refreshing some things here. Oh, this looks like a video. Let's see. I don't I can't confirm this, but somebody named Khalid Key posted this and it says video impact of suicide blast at the Save the Children office. So that looks similar to the photos we've seen. Maybe that's actually video from the scene. That looks similar to the photos we've seen of that, of that area. So I can't confirm that that video is from uh, the bombing there. But that looks like a similar setting to the photos we've seen of the area. I assume we'll get some more updates soon because this is still ongoing. Let me check to see if uh, did BBC update their story at all. No, the BBC story has no new news on it yet. Did the Guardian up up to update their story? No, they did not. Did Al Jazeera have anything new? No, not really. It is the Al Jazeera page. Shows that photo we've already seen. 11 people were wounded initially by the car bomber, and then the gunmen went in the office. We've heard that. Uh, clashes between security force, forces and armed attackers are still ongoing. Oh, what is this? We haven't seen that tweet yet, I don't think. This is new. I haven't seen this. It says, police react, ambulances arrive following attack in Jalalabad City from 1TV News AF. We saw this picture before. Haven't seen that one before. You know, it's, it's, it's one of these stories where, like, if there was, if in certain countries, if this exact same thing was happening, you know, you'd have nonstop coverage and all this video and all this press there and everything. And because it's Jalal about Afghanistan, it's the information trickles out very slowly. Okay, this was just posted, that's just posted by One TV News AF. Heavy battle. Heavy battle ongoing at Save the Children Office in Jalalabad. Heavy battle ongoing. That is from 1TV News AF. Heavy battle ongoing. I wonder if they have updated their story at all. Hmm. 
The area also houses a private school and a directorate and directorate of women's affairs. But no real new news there. But they did just post heavy battle ongoing, heavy battle ongoing at Save the Children office in Jalalabad. Okay, uh, I got a new post from this person. I think might be actually it, this person is an Af person in Afghanistan who has like eighty two thousand followers, um, and uh, I, I, I Afghan journalist an Afghan journalist Bilal Sarwari. He's been posting about this. Let me show you the post that he just posted from Af. I assume this person is legitimate. They, and it, the tweets are coming from Afghanistan. Uh, attackers on the third floor, they are using heavy machine guns, RPGs, and hand grenades, a police officer in the area tells me. Well, I'm retweeting it. I can't verify it, but I'm going to retweet it because I think it might. I, again, take it with a grain of salt, but the tweets are coming from Afghanistan. And uh, the person is an Afghanistan journalist, supposedly with 82,000 followers. And he's only following 2,000 people himself. So, um, so I'm willing to think this might be true. It wouldn't be unreasonable for that to be the case. Heavy me now we, and, we, and we did hear, we heard an eyewitness report earlier. One of the people injured in the initial suicide bombing said after the suicide bombing, one of the gunmen took an RPG and shot the gate with, an, with a rocket-propelled grenade. So they do have RPGs, from what we can tell. We have heard them throw about that. We've heard reports of them throwing grenades as well, in addition to shooting the grenades. Who is this person? Uh, a post from the UK ambassador to Afghanistan. This is Nick Kay. He is the United Kingdom ambassador to Afghanistan. And he just posted this. He says, uh, this is an outrage. Any attack on children and humanitarians is a crime against humanity. I hope for a quick and safe end to this horrific incident in Jalalabad. And that is Nick Kay, the uh, British ambassador to Afghanistan. Trying to get you more information here. You're watching Light, Right Side Broadcasting's live continuing coverage about this. Uh, thank you. A couple of our viewers, uh, Stormy Michelle and VJ Cyber Triangle, sent me this tweet from TRT World Now. They just posted this. Uh, at least eleven wounded. Attack. They have an interview with somebody. So let's see. Let's see what they're saying on on, on this tweet. This is how coming out of Afghanistan. There's been an attack on the office of the charity group Save the Children. Officials say a suicide bomber detonated explosives in front of the compound's gates in the eastern city of Jalalabad. Gunmen then opened fire. The provincial governor there says security forces are still in a gun battle with the attackers. Let's speak to Bilal Sawari, who joins us from the Afghan capital, oh. Kabul. Uh, the latest, let's start with that, Bilal. 
I was speaking to the provincial council member, Surab Qadri, who was at the scene, uh, along with the special forces, and he said uh, several hand grenades were tossed towards him and the security forces by the attackers. According to the uh, police force in Jalalabad city, between two to three attackers are still there. Uh, I have personally received messages from relatives who are stuck inside uh, the office. Uh, pleading for help. Other family members are already at the, uh, at the site. So it's a very complex and confusing situation uh, in a city that is crowded and chaotic. It's the uh, hub for business uh, and many other things in eastern Afghanistan. And at this stage, we know from doctors in the city hospital that at least 12 wounded have been brought in uh, for treatment. So obviously it's an ongoing situation. Uh, the office is only 200 meters away from a key police station. So you can imagine the security and intelligence failures that just continue. Along with the special forces, and he said uh, several hand grenades were tossed towards him and the security attackers are still there. Uh, I have personally received messages from check out one, relatives one thing, who are stuck quickly. inside uh, the office, uh, pleading for help. Other family members are already at the, uh, at the site. So it's a very complex and confusing situation uh, in a city that is crowded and chaotic. It's the uh, hub for business uh, and many other things in eastern Afghanistan. And at this stage, so that is we that know was um, Bilal Sarwari. So he's the person whose tweets we were reading before Bilal Sarwari, and he apparently is uh, an Afghanistan journalist. I'll actually show you the tweets that he posted. So thank you, VJ and Stormy, for sending me that video. Uh, so um, let me show you what Bilal Sarawi, we just, we did, the guy we just saw being interviewed, he posted this. So we just read his tweet. That's him. That's, this is the guy we saw interviewed, Bilal Sarawi. Sarwari. He said attackers on the third floor there, they are using heavy machine guns, RPGs, and hand grenades, a police officer in the area tells me. He also said the attackers were throwing grenades at the security forces. Now, a big question we don't we don't know the answer to is: Are the attackers are they taking hostages? Are they killing people inside the office? We just we have no idea. So we're just trying to get you the latest on what's going on there in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, with this attack on the Save the Children office. If you hear anything new, give me a shout on Twitter at Lookner at L O O K N E R. Uh, this is somebody who is verified. I don't know who they are. It says, Omaid Sharifi, co-founder, president, Art Lord's World. What is Art Lord's World? It is Art for Social Change, a move, Art for Social Change movement, Voice of the Voiceless in Afghanistan. So this person founded this organization in, in Kabul, Afghanistan. And he says, we were still bleeding from the Kabul attack. Now the evil soldiers attack Jalalabad, save the children organization. It's never ending. This is somebody named Stuart March who used to work at, at, Stuart Marsh used to work at Save the Children. See, it says, formerly global head of talent acquisition at, at Save the Children. And he says, oops, he says, uh, thoughts, th oops, well, the, tweet, the tweet's deleted, but before he said, thoughts are with my colleagues at the moment after the senseless, senseless attack. But then he deleted the tweet, so there. Uh, AFP posted this map a few minutes ago. So you can see where Jalalabad is on the, in the eastern part of the country near Pakistan. What is the Jalalabad population? Let me look that up. I 
I bet it's very big. Uh, 350,000, 356,000 Jalalabad population. So we're waiting to get more information on, on what's going on. We've heard that the attackers are engaging with, they're engaged in a firefight with uh, security forces, but we don't really know what's happening there. I'm just waiting to hear something new. Just checking some different sources here, trying to find some new information. I don't even know if there's like local video there because I'm looking at a couple of uh, Afghanistan news channels and they're not posting video so I don't know if there's any anyone out there shooting video or maybe there is um, but I haven't seen it I mean like somebody who's actually out there with a camera just shooting stuff constantly Okay, new post from Afghan journalist Bilal Sawari. Afghan commandos in the area and now in charge of operation. Attackers using second and third floors as a launching pad against ANDSF. I think that's probably the special forces, a police officer in the area tells me. So it looks like these are pretty heavily armed terrorists and they, are, they have RPGs and they are throwing and launching grenades uh, at the security forces there. Uh, so Afghan army commandos are now in the area and they're now in charge of the operation. I guess that means um, that means it's not like the local police, it's the Afghan army. And I, I, I'm, it's not so surprising when you consider that the people are reportedly armed with ro rocket-propelled grenades. And they're higher up and they're firing down on the security forces. Hmm. This guy is like the only one on the world, like literally like the only person in the world posting uh, new information on this. This guy Bilal Sawari. Good for good for him. Good reporting. He is an Afghani journalist. Uh, I don't know. This is somebody just posted this photo. This is Hababur, and it says scene of the Jalalabad attack. Photo shows wall of Save the Children Afghanistan. Is it the wall on the left? Is that what it is? There's a lot of people with guns there. These look like those are like army forces. It looks like security forces. Uh, the chief of the UN United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime just put Neil Walsh, who works at the UN, just posted 
In a world of horrendous events, this is almost indescribable. Thoughts with those defending against this attack. If you hear updates, write to me on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Thomas Johnson asked me if I could retweet the last report. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm not going to retweet it. I'm not going to really retweet everything I read. But at the same time, if you want it, that's where to get it, uh, at uh, B. Sarwari. B. Sarwari. You can get that report there. That was from a couple minutes ago, which he just, that was the latest report he, he filed. Okay, just looking for some new news here. Seeing a lot of the similar reports that we've already seen. Oh, is this new? Is this new from the same reporter we've seen before? I don't know if this is this, this from TRT World Now posted this. I don't know if this is a different. We heard from him before, but I don't know if this is a different quote. Let's see. Uh, according to the office of the governor of Nengarhar in the police chief, the Save the Children is the target. Uh, they say uh, the organization has been doing some very important work in all of the districts uh, which are insecure. They work with children, they work with health and education. Uh, I mean, they also work with uh, refugees who have returned back from Pakistan into Afghanistan. Uh, so they do crucial work. Uh, they are the backbone uh, of a government that cannot really function without organizations like Save the Children. And there are also organizations when they were in Afghanistan, when most Afghans couldn't be here during the most difficult periods of civil war and then the Taliban. So obviously this is a shocking uh, development <coughs> if indeed uh, the Save the Children was deliberately targeted and, and if they are targeted, then it will really create a very difficult climate for all of those international organizations with expertise, with money, and crucially, uh, with very, very uh, important work in Afghanistan. That was, that was Bilal Sarwari, and he said, um, that uh, he made his point that he said that it would it could definitely be a chill have a chilling effect on other NGOs non governmental organizations which help out uh, the people of Afghanistan if this was indeed targeted at save the children as it was it appears because other organizations might be afraid to do work there and worry about themselves getting targeted so that was from Bilal Sarwari who apparently is the only person in the world in English who's reporting from Afghanistan on this. So we're glad he's filing his reports. Trying to find some more updates for you guys. Uh, if you hear updates, write to me on Twitter at Lookner at L O O K N E R. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, right Side Broadcasting on YouTube. Click the notifications bell so you know when we come on the air. Uh, you'll get a notification. Could be at all hours, as you see, we're on the air late tonight covering this. And you can follow us on Facebook, Right Side Broadcasting. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. And uh, thank you, JC, for moderating. JC, up late with us tonight, moderating in the chat room.
So right now, I mean, for like an hour now, supposedly, the gunmen have been inside that Save the Children office firing at police. I hope they're not also firing at the people who work there, but I just don't know right now. We have no idea what's going on in that office right now, uh, what the condition is of the people who actually work there and are stuck there with those gunmen there. And uh, we don't know what's going on. We've heard a report that there are two or three gunmen in there and uh, just don't know what's happening. I don't know how the strategy works. Like, do the Afghan forces not want to storm the place because they worry that if they storm it, then they then the gunmen might kill some of the people working there? I, I just don't know. Just looking around here for some more updates. Eric, I saw that tweet you just sent me, Reagan better, but do you have a source for that that I could look at? Uh, this is somebody who's a social activist and I, he looks like he's from Afghanistan, Mo Dasar Islami. And he said, yesterday, today, yesterday, Kabul, today, Jalalabad, tomorrow, God knows where the country is in war. People, the civilians suffer the most praying for the safety of friends and the children. Uh, this person, uh, Hababor, who's a freelance journalist, says, scene of the Jalalabad attack, with smoke coming, I guess, from the suicide bombing from earlier, I think. Up oh, another photo from Hababor. It says, scene of the attack, two. You can see smoke coming up. It's sideways. Reagan Better, our viewer, saw this report that Pakistan had banned Save the Children, but uh, I don't know this source. It was, it was in Dawn, Dawn.com. So I can't confirm this because I know nothing about Dawn.com. So you can go to Dawn.com and read about that if you'd like. Thank you, Reagan Better. Uh, this person who works at Pajwak Afghan News, Nizamuddin, just tweeted out, this time in Jalalabad, I guess he means right now, gunfire ongoing, gunfire ongoing.
Now I'm seeing the first report of 12 people injured. This comes from Paj, Paj Hwak Afghan News, 12 people injured. We've been hearing 11 so far. I don't know where the extra person came from. Uh, this is somebody with Save the Children. Sa Simon Wright with Save the Children. You can see that's Simon Wright, Save the Children. And he says, Fright frightening attack, hoping colleagues and all are safe, Afghanistan car bomb explodes. So he says, hoping colleagues and all are safe. I wonder if Save the Children has posted anything yet. No, nothing from their Twitter feed still on Save the Children. Last post was 11 hours ago. Well, at this point, folks, we don't have much new to give you. You know, there's there's a... Uh, I, oh, I do have photos, though, from Hababor, who just posted, posted these photos from the scene of the attack. You can see some pretty serious weaponry being brought out there. And again, that was posted by this person named... Habubar, not Hababur. Well, Hababur or Hababur. I don't know. Hababur, I'll say. I was right the first time. Uh, one TV News AF just posted Battle at Save the Children Office in Jalalabad enters third hour. Third hour. Our viewer Uday G wrote to me that he believes the terrorists are being sent from Pakistan. Now I can't, uh, I can't uh, confirm that for you because I know nothing about that. But uh, that's what our viewer thinks. He also sent me this link, where this was from Pajhuak Afghan News, and they said that Afghan security sources said the explosive used in intercontinental attack traced back to Pakistan, but uh, I don't know anything about that story. I, I would have to confirm that story myself. I haven't read that elsewhere, not to say it's not true. Now, even if the explosives were traced back to Pakistan, doesn't, that doesn't mean that Pakistani people carried out the attack. I don't know. So you can research. I'm not going to research that right now, but feel free to do some research on your own about that. But thank you to our viewer Uday G for writing in. Our viewer Patrick Hostis thinks that if they took the building, terrorists will wire it to blow when security forces storm it. Maybe they'll blow themselves up too. We don't know. That's happened before. Tolo News just said this. Dozens of Afghan special forces have moved into the area of the ongoing attack on Save the Children, uh, Tolo News Journalist and Area reports clashes are ongoing.
All right, folks. Well, we're not hearing, I'm not seeing that much new right now, and it is getting a little late. So I think at this point, we're going to wrap up this stream. Uh, as much as I'd love to stay up all night and cover this, I do have to uh, at some point get a little sleep so I can wake up tomorrow and cover news. Uh, so I think I'm going to end the stream now. If there's anything really big, I'll, I'll definitely tweet it out while I'm up. Um, I'm at, at Lookner on Twitter, at Lookner on Twitter, so you can follow me there. I will post any, any updates I hear. Um, and uh, follow us on rights on right side, broad, right side Broadcasting on Facebook. On YouTube, you can subscribe to us uh, and click the notifications bell so you get notified whenever we're coming on the year. I want to say a quick thanks. Uh, we didn't ask for donations during this broadcast because even though we're viewer supported, we, we uh, for a story like this, we won't ask for donations throughout the broadcast. But if you do enjoy that we were covering this uh, and you want to donate later, you can always go to our uh, broadcast in the YouTube chat, go to the bottom of the YouTube chat and click on the dollar sign. And I'm just saying this because we are viewer supported. So without your support, we can't even bring you broadcasts like this. That's why we got asked for donations. So if you want to donate, you can always go to the bottom of the YouTube chat, click on the dollar sign, or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at, at RSB Network. Thanks so much to JC for moderating the chat room and Common Sense and Glenno on the website. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And uh, thanks to everybody who sent me comments and news updates and all the news tips. Thank you. And thank you for people saying thanks in the chat room. Uh, thanks for uh, Jason Thornton, Bombastic Buster, Trees Climbing Gear, Right On, Tiki Leak. Um, and uh, JC, GTO Mama, and everybody else there in the chat room. So, um, so, uh, so that's the latest. Our thoughts are with obviously everybody working at this at Save the Children. There, uh, I'm very concerned as to what we'll find out eventually when this attack is over. Uh, what we'll find out happen there. I, I hope people who worked in that office are safe, but I, I worry about what the gunmen have been doing in that office. So we don't know that yet. Uh, when I find out, I'll post it on my Twitter, at Lugner. But our thoughts are with everybody there affected by this, and we hope they get the attack will end soon and uh, and that the office workers are safe inside of there. Uh, People who are working just to help children in Afghanistan. This is what happens. So, all right, but for now, we're going to wrap up this stream. Thank you for joining us. Um, uh, if there's breaking news, we're here covering it. So be sure to keep an eye out for Right Side Broadcasting. But for now, I am Steve Luckner here at Right Side Broadcasting. From all of us, um, have a good night, and we will uh, see you soon here with more news.